Okay, welcome back, everyone. And right now, there is some good news for some people dealing with a painful injury. We're talking about a knee injury that turns out to be a torn ACL. But in tonight's featured story, Dana Arshin shows us the technique that one doctor is using that's getting people back on their feet quicker than ever expected. Check it out. Lay back for me. Good. We're going to bend it all the way up. Come on, come on. Come on. on the Upper East Side, trauma surgeon Gregory D. Felice claims he's found a breakthrough when it comes to repairing a torn ACL. That's the ligament that connects your thigh bone to your shin bone. Currently, one size fits all approach to all types of tears. My practice is very different. I base my treatment and my surgeries off of how the ligament's torn and not. If it's torn. To explain this as simply as possible, the doctor tells me you can tear an ACL in multiple ways. It can tear in half or it can stay mostly intact while detaching itself from the thigh bone. The modern day approach to ACL injury for all tear types is to reconstruct the ligament, which means replacing the original tissue with a graft. But in De Felice's opinion, for the cases where the ACL is still intact, there's no need to replace it. He just pokes a few small small holes to stitch the original tissue back to the bone. I try and save as much of the native tissue of the ACL as possible, and I only use reconstruction as a last resort. Not only is this, does the procedure keep your native tissue, your knee feels more normal, your recovery is faster, there's less complications. The doctor says other surgeons may be skeptical because his approach is similar to the way this type of surgery was done nearly 40 years ago. He stresses he only uses this approach when the ACL is torn in a specific way. Go ahead and do a straight leg raise for me. Nice. All right. Patient Jane Lee is walking around just one week after having this kind of surgery. She's undergone both types and is fascinated by how different the results are of each one. The left is an ACL reconstruction I had 20 years ago, and the right is an ACL repair that I had last week. Wow, so you're really healing quickly. I, I am super happy. This is amazing. And here's patient Conrad Van Tienhoven running on a treadmill less than two months after his surgery with Dr. De Felice. If you have healthy existing ligament, reattach it and that leads to a much faster recovery, and that was very interesting for me. The doctor says he's already lectured all over the world. His hope for the future of this minimally invasive surgery is to see it become more widespread and to make it a common practice. On the Upper East Side, Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News. All right, Dana, thank you very much. He's here right now. This is Dr. Gregory DeFelice, uh, a sports trauma surgeon, as you heard, from Hospital for Special Surgery. Thanks for being here today, doctor. Thanks this is amazing me. surgery, as we just saw, and getting fantastic results. The phone ringing off the hook, people, you know, calling up and saying, I, I need you. The word is out. It's definitely out there. Wow. So, yeah. you know, what, what, what's the reaction? Tell me. I mean, I mean, who's giving you a call? Well, if you're giving, the ch giving you the choice yeah. between having a big surgery with a long recovery or right. potentially having a small surgery, sure. most people People want to listen there. Uh, so. You really, f you formulated this thing. I mean, you know, there's been some doctors who say that that procedure perhaps is not what they would recommend, but you've done it and done it very well. Explain that to us. Well, what happened was way back in the old days when they yeah. used to open the knee wide open and try and stitch it back together, they looked at the results after about five years and mm -hmm. it was only 50 50. The doctors of the time appropriately said that we can't do a 50% operation and then have to redo all these surgeries. Right. So they moved towards reconstruction where they take the old ligament out mm -hmm. and replace it with a graft. And that's the modern day thing. We've been trying to perfect that for 30 years. Mm -hmm. But the big problem there was they, had, they looked at the glass as half empty. Nobody ever asked what it was it about those people who did well. Yeah, but you did though. And I did. Yeah. And it turns out that if you reanalyze all the old literature based upon what type of tear the mm -hmm. patient had rather than just if they had a tear, what you see is that the people that did well had a specific type of tear where they kind of detached the ligament from the wall rather than tearing it in the middle. You're working with a lot of uh, high schools and, and colleges and so forth, helping them out. Uh, tell us how that's going. Sure. I think, you know, athletes and people who tear their ACLs yeah. come in all varieties from, uh, you know, we've done a hundred of these repair procedures now from ages 14 all the way up to 60 Fabulous. for people who are uh, athletic and have the unfortunate injury where they tear it. And the recovery is faster, the knee feels more normal because we save all the native tissue, mm -hmm. and uh, the complication rates are lower. And then the best thing is that, yes, you had the smaller surgery if you happen to re-injure it. Right. And mind you, the ACL reconstruction, some, some mm -hmm. studies show that up to 20% of people re-tear the reconstruction. 
with my procedure, if you re-tear it, the answer is to go and have the reconstruction. Mm -hmm. So I tell my patients, it's almost like kind of it's like kind of getting a free swing at the plate. Right, you get right. a fourth strike. Well, you showed me some video of some of your, your patients skiing, running, I mean, weeks after the surgery, which is fantastic. Yeah. You're doing a great job. It's Dr. Great DeFelice, amazing. I thank you so much for joining us, helping out a lot of people. Good work. Thanks for having Thanks me. Thanks for being here. Okay. Coming up next here, the desperate.